going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, y'all. First things first, I only have one YouTube page and one Instagram page. Don't get scammed. You can only book a personal meeting with me using my website, which will be listed down below in the description. I pray you're having a beautiful and blessed day. I pray you're having a beautiful and blessed week. May Father God continue to cover you, bless you, keep you safe all days, always. I am sending you so much peace, love, and healing energy, Aries. Let's begin. And anybody sending any negative energy towards me or Aries, may we return the sender a thousandfold. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Let's begin. Angels and ancestors, spirit guides of the highest are like, please come down and protect me. Please come down and give me clear messages straight from the divine. <clears throat> Archangel Michael, Holy Spirit, please come down and protect me, guide me, and keep me safe. And please come down and protect and guide the viewers that have clicked on this video today. What are the messages today for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North? What does Aries need to know? Aries. Aries. Ooh. <laughs> Aries. So I see here for someone, for, okay, y'all could be making decisions that things may not be working out with certain relationships and y'all calling it quits. Okay. So for someone here, you done trying to mend relationships. You done trying to even cultivate relationships. You just like, yo, if it ain't for me, or I see the red flags, the one inside some dumb street, I know this ain't for me. Like, you're letting something go. <clears throat> and this could have been something like, you could have been, I've been picking up on the energy where you could have been really trying to make something work. And it's like, uh-uh. This could even be with partnership or work and you're not focusing on being self-employed, like you're focusing on your money, on, you know, what's important to you, because you could have been making something work, like for others. But yeah, this is your energy. You're asserting yourself, Aries. <clears throat> something could be going on with someone's throat chakra. Someone could be wanting to have a conversation with you, or you could be having an important conversation with someone. Gemini energy is coming through as well as Virgo. You have good news that's coming in. All right. This is because you have stood on some type of strong conviction. Okay. This is you standing on your morals, your values, your beliefs, things that you stand on and for. You definitely could do something that impacts the community. Okay. I also see here you provide some type of balance or healing energy to the community. Okay. But this is how people feel in the community in regards to you. Pisces energy is here as well. Yeah, Virgo is definitely popping out. You also have options at this time. Okay. Libra energy where things are getting ready to be brought into balance for you with options. You're going to have a lot of different options. <clears throat> this is also Father God opening doors for you, Aries. Somebody wants to fill a void. I'm telling you, somebody wants to have a conversation with you. They could be wanting to express something to you, but this person is using addictions to fill some type of void or loss in regards to you. And I'm seeing here, someone here could have like dreads. They could have a, the pineapple hair. It could be a male or a female. This is also someone that could have been in competition with you or they could have put you in deep competition and now they're thinking about that. This is also something that they could be wanting to have a conversation with you about, you know, their actions. Okay, so let's see here. What is Aries need to know? Yeah, there's someone that wants to have a reunion with you. There is a reunion that's on the way. Okay, somebody here is also creeping and cheating. So there's someone in your energy that is not to be trusted and this is someone, oh man. That you could have caught like being deceptive or not honest or trying to play in your energy. Okay. Someone wants you bad. <laughs> That's the energy that I'm picking up on. Somebody here. They're, they're watching you. This could be someone that finds you very attractive, very good looking, or something that you're doing. It's like a lot of people could be talking about it. Ooh. Okay. What does Aries need to know? Holy Spirit, please and thank you. These cards are like, they feel so new. So, ooh, I'm hoping like, like they be dropping out too many. Someone here doesn't have, they don't have what you need. 
Okay, so we're gonna take those. Spirit is like, <laughs> spirit's like, keep shuffling. Okay, you also have here some. You need to be mindful of fake family members. You have fake ass family members. Okay, people in your family that want you to only reach some type of press, but they want you to cap in regards to like your your forward movement. You also have someone that is sexually frustrated in regards to you. I'm telling you, somebody here finds you very attractive, Aries, male or female. And it's also because you carry divine light. But again, Spirit is saying, this person does not have what you need. Okay? For someone here, this could be a father figure, someone that has children. It could even be, you know, your father, this fake ass family that's being here. So be mindful of what you are expressing to your parents. Hmm. Yeah, somebody here, this person that's creeping and cheating is definitely in your energy. They also are realizing that you are living some type of luxury lifestyle. Lux life is for you, Aries. Cookies could be significant, okay? So you could be eating more cookies. You could have a sweet tooth or... I could like the brand cookies. <laughs> you also have here, someone is staying in a place that's not their house. So someone here could be, they could have moved in somewhere or they could, they could be living, staying with a friend. Like they could be like, oh, I, I, that this, and it's not there. Someone is staying at a place that is not their house. And this is someone that knows that like, you'll supply their needs or this is someone that wants to supply your needs. My goodness. Someone here needs to supply, they need their, I'm picking up, this person needs their, 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 they need, they need to supply, like, they need to up on their needs, is what I'm trying to say. Like, they don't have resources. Someone here needs resources. That's what I'm hearing from this card. When I wrote this card, it's like somebody here wants to cater to you. They could, be, they could have brown hair, but I'm picking up on an energy of, Someone here needs, like, help. It's so different. Spirit is like, this person needs resources. They need resources. This even could have been someone that may have provided before. They, might have, they may have had a lot before, Aries, and they don't have a lot anymore. Yeah, somebody here has narcissistic parents. So you need to be mindful. This could be this father. It could be a karmic man that's in your energy as well time to meditate. Ooh, it's time to meditate. Yeah, you also have here roses could be significant. There's someone that's coming in with an offer to you. We're going to clarify that too. This could be someone that has curly hair. Okay. We're going to clarify that too, not their house. So we're going to clarify the fake family members, mm. divine light, not their house, an offer coming. Okay, we'll do sexually frustrated, so we'll see what spirit has to say for that. Okay. So yeah, what's fake ass family member for Aries? Somebody is shifty. My goodness. Who's this fake family member for Aries that Aries needs to be aware of? This is most definitely someone that you could have, like, history with. You could have grown up with this person, okay? And it's like, this is someone that also sees that you're healing now and you have success in your energy. You're successful. You're standing your ground. This is something This is something that this person wanted to block for you. Who is this fake family member? Yeah, but you still are successful nonetheless. That's the truth. Whatever this person tried to do or say about you or stop it was never going to work you were still going to be successful you were still going to be vindicated you were still going to embrace your authentic energy if they didn't want you to be because somebody here wanted you to be a fake ass individual because they're fake okay someone here was hopeful that you would like fall to the same energy that they are in at this time what's this who is this this is this could be a fire sign or someone that was really inspired nefertari Please don't eat my charger. No, 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 baby. No, thank you. 
I was waiting for her to walk away. <laughs> you have here, this person is inspired to cause a tower or to create some type of disaster. I'm hearing distraction. Distraction, disaster, chaos of people. What's the page of wands? It could be a Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, a fire sign like yourself. Or whatever you did brought in some type of major change, upheaval, epiphany, revelation. Okay, you even could be doing something that has to do with tarot. All right, and this, this could be you learning or cultivating it or studying or watering something new. What's the page of wands? Yeah, and this person is confused about why you're doing it. Someone here has plans on trying to sabotage you. This could be an Aquarius. They want to sabotage what you're working on, what you're studying, what you're very skilled at. They don't want you to embrace it or do it or go towards it. Someone here wants to hold you back from things that you are honestly love with the Queen of Cups. This could be an earth sign doing this, whoever this is, or an air sign. This person is very, very shady, and they play dirty, and they are stuck in some type of bad situation. Somebody here has dark external forces coming after them. This could be natural disasters with the Six of Swords. This is not being guided away from drama. This is being guided towards it. This, the Six of Swords in the reverse is issues in your life, confusion. Okay, your spirit guides are not assisting you. This is in the upright, it's being moved to a calmer energy. In the reverse, it's going towards a stressful energy. My goodness, somebody here has a lot of negative energy that's coming towards them. And they could already be starting in regards to their money. Their money, their finances, their security, their amen, their savings. This could be this person and whoever they were working with or This person is in financial ruin, and they have a lot of negative energy that surrounds them. This person's also in deep illusions, deep, deep confusion and illusion energy. They're not wrapped in reality at this time with the Seven of Cups at all. Okay, this could be, this could be an Aquarius with the star. Or someone here views you as being in the public eye, and they hate it. They don't like it. The Four of Cups, they feel rejected. This is also someone that realizes you're not in some type of regret for shining your light. That's why somebody here is mad or upset and really confused because they could have wanted you to feel intimidated or meek or scared or nervous to be able to shine bright, to be able to go towards what God wants for you. Okay, that's over. 1313 on the timer, as I said, that this could be an earth sign or an Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Whatever actions that you inspired to do, it was something that was out of the norm. It was something that was new. And this person is not understanding it. This is heavy air energy with the Six of Swords. And yeah, oh my goodness. This could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. This person is not happy. It could most definitely be a Virgo. Also because you're manifesting. Somebody here was definitely throwing energy at your stability, at your security, at your home. Because you, you freed yourself. You freed yourself. There's something opened up for you. Who's this person that's sexually frustrated? With Aries. Okay. Someone that betrayed you, Aries. You need to stay away from this person. Or someone that has something with a ten of swords and it's bad. Okay, this could be a Pisces. Somebody here is, is stuck on a betrayal. But there has been a pause or some type of interlude that has taken place and something has came to an inevitable end with the Ten of Swords. This is a painful, emotionally trying end. But someone here thought that you, you know, you were going to be down and out or this is going to take you out, but you're on your phone. Something did not take you out. Something may hurt and you may be down for a period of time. But this is something that you're going to get back up from. Or you could be calling on help with that phone <laughs> to help you. But whoever this is feels like they put an end or they wanted to end you in one way emotionally, really scar you emotionally. And now they're stuck in whatever that energy is. They're also realizing that you are an earth angel. This is also Sagittarius energy. You have the Ace of Cups. Somebody's coming in with a love offer. 
And it's because you're stable, you're wealthy, you're financially secure. You love yourself with the Ace of Cups. Oh man, what's the Ace of Cups? This person is shy, see. And they're going to be really determined to get you to get in some type of partnership with them, Aries. So whoever this is, is going to try to use sex. This is definitely someone that betrayed you, but they're going to try to use the Ace of Cups. Loving on you, trying to give you emotional like satisfaction, affection. Someone's determined to get you to fall in love or to get you to view them as oh, that you could have a renewal in love. And it's because they want to get tied into your money. This is also someone that wants you to choose them with the lover's card for this new start, whatever you're working on. This hasn't happened yet, but it's coming with the three of wands. This person is making a plan to take a leap of faith towards you. That's the truth. Okay, so Father God is making sure that you see the truth, that you speak out, that you are able to spot this because it's going to happen out of nowhere with the tower. Someone here is also like going to be doing this, this burst of like, Energy is going to be coming through when some type of truth or clarity comes in. This is revelation. This is upheaval. This is chaos. This is drama. This is this is things coming about, a fake and faulty foundation falling about. Whatever this is, you're being protected from this. You see how it fell on top of the five of cups and the star? You're being protected. You have divine. This is divine intervention. Father God has sent its heavy hitter, has sent Archangel Michael to cover you, protect you, and keep you safe. Yeah, this is someone that wants to try to bring in some type of vindication because they know that you have been vindicated. The spirit is saying, you know the truth. So stand on that. What's the tower? Stand on that and know what's going on. Okay, know what's going on. Know what this person is trying to do. You need to hold back because somebody wants to create an ending. This is someone that is very sneaky and deceptive. Somebody is a liar. They're shy. See, they mm -mm. Whoever this person that's sexually frustrated that wants to connect to you is to know. What's not their house? The seven of wands. This is someone that you could have kicked out or blocked or someone's about to get blocked and kicked out with the seven of wands. Somebody here is about to get kicked out of their house, out of someone else's house. Or someone here, yeah. This is someone that could have been like paying a little bit to nothing to stay in someone's home. This is also someone that was trying to like regain their confidence and strength in the situation. So I'm telling you, somebody here is about to be blocked out of someone's house. This could be happening now. Somebody here could have even been like living with someone since like October or November. Someone here is also going to try to use sex to say, oh my goodness, I don't know if this is a friend that they're staying with or... This could be a fire sign. This is all fire energy. The seven of wands, the four of wands, the nine of wands. This could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius that could be trying to make a move towards you. Somebody was paying somebody, whoever this is, to stay in a place that was not their home. And it was because somebody here felt like they had it, felt like this person just had it. Whoever this fire sign is, was, it's full of illusions. This could even be a cancer. This is a woman, or this could be a masculine that's just in feminine energy, meaning they don't know how to provide. They just want to be taken care of. They view like they, they the prize. And any man that thinks that they the prize don't know God, okay, you need to run from them, okay? <laughs> any, any man, any man that thinks that they the prize, <laughs> you need to run from them. In the Bible, Father God literally states a man that finds a good wife is a good thing. How can a man be a prize if they can't give life? They can't procreate? They can't, what? You need to say, here's the door. Any, any man that has that mindset, you, that's a red flag. They don't know God. They don't have God in their life. They're not being directed. They don't read the Bible. Okay, literally, you need to walk away. <laughs> <laughs> walk away from that but this is also a situation where somebody's gonna have to leave something where somebody is choosing better for themselves they could have also been like exchanging sexual energy to keep someone or to stay to, to let somebody stay in their house the six of pentacles to the nine of wands someone here could be using their someone here could have been paying or using you know 
to have a place to live, they're gonna have to leave that alone. That eight of cups. By the guys that you gonna have to learn, you gonna have to do better. Whoever this is is gonna is learning that they have to do better. I don't know why you need to know this. Over your fire, this could be an Aries. So this I said fire sign. Well, this could be someone. Where is Aries at with this person that's not their house? Oh. Aries, you could be loving this person, or you could be in a relationship with this person, or you could be you could be viewing this person as a soulmate with the two of cups. But you really need to be more aware. Or you're in a relationship right now, and this person is watching you in this relationship. Because wherever they're at is conflict, it's issues, it's discord. Okay. And who's this person that's bringing an offer? Someone that's scared of you, intimidated. This is someone that has, it's, the love is going to be real. This person only has one cup in their hand. Somebody is going to want to commit. There could even be a child or, or baby that comes about from this. Okay, this is someone that's spying on you from a distance. This could be a cancer or a water sign. That's viewing you as like the one with the chariot, but you bring, you make this person scared or intimidated because you in a victory, you are like in a, vic a victorious type of energy. You're in a no-nonsense go-getter, very balanced, in tune, okay, warrior, survivor type of energy, and it's like you move, you move in secret, Virgo energy. You don't tell people your moves, you just get to planning, okay, and you create the life that you want, the wheel of fortune. You got a lot of blessings and a lot of favor over your life, and this person is scared. The nine of wands. Yeah, my God. Somebody here feels like it's going to be too difficult, or they're going to feel like this person feels like it's going to be a burden to come into some type of union or happy energy with you, but this is what they want. The nine of cups, you make this person so happy. They just want to take a leap of faith towards you. I don't know. Somebody, <laughs> who could you tell me about this person? Anything else you could tell me? Somebody here wants you, Aries. But they're going to take their time. This may be even someone that is going to move too slow. Or they feel like they're going to have to move slow. Or this is someone that feels like they need to have their, their ducks in a row before they come towards you. They feel like you have it together, but this could be someone that's still in the building phases of their life, and they don't know if they're going to accept that. But this is someone that will that views you as someone that they would want to commit to, longevity, have children with, love, confirmation. I don't know if y'all heard that. This is someone that's going to want this. This can most definitely be a water sign, okay? A Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is cups here. Nine of cups to ten of cups. Somebody here sees that they could have emotional fulfilling connection with you, that the love could be real, okay, that it will be genuine, that there will be a happy home, harmony that's taking place. Somebody here also could be really cold right now, or you could be cold. Somebody here also could have experienced some type of passing that may have taken place. So someone here, you're focused on what's, you're focused on family, what's important, things that make sense to you. Either something could have happened with family and my condolences, or this could be like you going through an ending, a transformation of self, which is why there could be some type of pause that's taking place. Because I'm picking up on your cold right now with the King of Swords, or you're just very structured. You could be handling like business matters, contracts, legalities. You could be dealing with something in the court. Somebody could be very militant. Okay, or very just straightforward. You also are in the energy of making those tough decisions and you don't care if it affects, you know, who it affects. You're making the right decisions for your life and for people around you. You're very structured and it's like you could be in a place of power. You also are very attractive, Aries. You could be manifesting at this time. Or you're about to see your manifestations coming in. There's somebody here, they need resources from you. I keep picking that up and this is going to be someone that's going to try to come in and act like they can supply your needs they're going to act like they have things for you or that they're an asset but really you're the asset who this i don't know where the other deck is so maybe it's not meant for me to read it for y'all i don't know where it's at i'm like where is it i thought it was here Okay, so I'll use this one for y'all, and I'll use the other deck. Okay, anything that you're, yeah, they said just use this one. 
to this Aries needs to know secrets are about to emerge and the rhythm of these cycles, the hidden is about to be unveiled. Await the reveal with an open heart and mind. There's a lot of secrets that are about to come out, Aries. So they want you to be prepared for this right now. They want you to bask in the everyday moment. Your presence blossoms in the simplicity of now. They want you to take your time with things. Don't rush as well. Take your time with things. Okay, anything else that Aries needs to know? Yeah, I I am already abundant beyond measure. Okay, and I am always provided for. I'm going to use this one too. And what's, what's some, there's a water sign in your energy. You're, you're about to connect to a water sign. Or your emotions are about to be balanced. Okay, there's some type of rebirth that's here. There's definitely an ending that has taken place so that you can be reborn, okay? There's a renewal in your energy. The number 13 is here. And then I say 13, 13, that angel number could be significant to you. Sagittarius is in your energy as well. But you're about to connect to, to a connection that is actually for you. They don't want you to have any fear. This is also about to bring in money. This, like, this new opportunity, if you... Embrace what God wants for you, especially in regards to relationships and love, because God is love. He'll bless your pockets. All right. Again, your money is constantly increasing. You're about to have some type of come up. Okay. I'm seeing that here too. You are always being provided for and you are abundant beyond measure. I hope this resonated with you. May peace and blessings be to you always, Aries. And I'll be seeing you on the next video.